NASA now has a target date for the launch of the Artemis 1 rocket. And as Western's Mega Mulatto reports, this will be the first launch of a series of missions that will provide a foundation for human exploration on the moon and beyond. In a teleconference Wednesday morning, NASA announced they're hoping to launch the Artemis 1 rocket sometime in late August or early September. It'll be part of a multi-year plan to bring humans back to the moon. This is our first flight and this is a campaign that we're building. This is a series of missions to, to achieve objectives that um, we're laying out as uh, an agency to do near-term and long-term exploration both on the moon uh, and beyond. Depending on which exact day is chosen for liftoff, the mission could last 39 to 42 days, sending the Orion capsule into an orbit around the moon before returning back to Earth in mid-October. Launch day is going to be here before we know it. NASA says Artemis 1 won't have astronauts on board. Artemis 2, however, will send a crew to orbit the moon but not land. Artemis 3, which is planned for no earlier than 2025, is set to bring humans back to the moon. The announcement of Artemis 1's potential launch dates comes on the 53rd anniversary of the Apollo 11 landing on the moon. It's not just the Artemis 1 mission, but it's a bigger picture of returning to the moon and preparing to go to Mars. And we try not to lose sight of that in our day-to-day -day work. Megan Mulatto, Wesh 2 News.